All right, everybody, welcome back to the place on the internet where we are testing all the masks that we can find. Very excited to test the Mask Lab masks today. I've heard a lot about this uh, company. Shout out to uh, Aaron Collins, loves their stuff. Now he likes to talk a lot about their uh, KF94s. We're gonna be actually looking at their surgical masks because we got a big shipment of masks from India. That's right, India masks. And we're gonna be testing those masks to see how they stack up. All right, let's put it in the clamper and get going. Wow, that's a lot of material. It's great. Let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about what that means, check out the link. Um, again, we are just looking at the material here, just talking about the filtration and the breathability. We're not going to be looking at fit. Um, let's take a look at their uh, website real quick. So masklab.in uh, because we're looking at the uh, India masks today. Um, they've got a lot of great stuff. I've, I've heard a lot about them. Um, started up at the, uh, at the top of the pandemic. Um, masks are manufactured in a clean room environment, which prevents the introduction of additional particulate matter into our products. These are made in India, um, certified, uh, ISOs, all that stuff. This looks like it's made in Mumbai. So you can buy these on Amazon. From everything I can tell, uh, this is a great company. So they're saying uh, particulate filtration at 99%. It's exactly what this machine is meant to uh, test here. Uh, this, they're saying that their ASTM F2100, uh, which is the classification for surgical masks, that is exactly what this machine is testing here. So we'll see, that's the whole point of this. All right, let's take a look at the box. I really like the box because, uh, well, you guessed it, it's a soft touch box. It's very uh, large, look at that, get there. Uh, it's double high, 100 masks, obviously um, this is most likely in Hindi here. And then they got the English on the other side. So they're saying the ISO certification of the factory there, that's what that number is. Uh, CE is just a European standard. File some paperwork, you can put that on the box. Um, and they're having the a uh, ASTM saying it's level three. If it's level three, it needs to be at 98% filtration or higher, which they're putting on the box. Bacterial filtration, submicron particulate filtration efficiency. That's at 0.1 micron. That's what this machine is meant to test here. I'm gonna open these up here. I mean, guys, this is like, this is a really, really nice package. Like I, the, the thickness of the, of the plastic is really substantial. And it looks like they're going, I'm gonna guess there's four here. So they're 20, units of 25 each. Let's take a look at the actual masks themselves. So we'll pull a couple out here. So these are a little bit more wrinkly than I like to see, but you know, it happens. I'm not really sure why, because the packaging is really great. Uh, the spun bond quality is insane. It's really good. Like I could just tell the quality of the spun bonds are just really amazing. I've heard so much about these guys. I want. Okay, that's the, the ear loop's really small, and yeah, that's not very good. So from a construction standpoint, those are those are just breaking. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, I I, I can't recommend that. That that's that's not good. And the nose wire is very very small. Put this on. Okay, it's actually, um, I'm gonna call this a uh, uh, delightful smelling cardboard box. Yeah, it's like really, like it's a bright, a bright smell. I don't know, but does any of that matter? It doesn't protect you. Now remember, on the box, on the website, it says uh, that they have an ASTM level three rating. Now in the United States, that's a US thing. Uh, ASTM level one is 95% uh, is or better. ASTM level two and three, 98% or better. So 
uses this exact machine. So this machine needs to say that it's 98% or better or they're not meeting that standard. So what does it say? 93.044, 93.044. That's a lot lower than I wanna see. Look, not ideal, not ASTM level three. So I'm gonna mark that they're not meeting their claims there, but, um, but still like a pretty good mask. Look, is there gonna be a real difference uh, between, you know, uh, you know, one or two percentage points? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Personally, I like to get ASTM level three. I like to have as high as possible on their website. You know, they're saying 99%, uh, not really hitting those numbers here. So I'd call them out a little bit on that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If this has been enjoyable, give me a like and subscribe. Or not, I will catch you on the next test either way. I'm here either way, folks. See you next time.